We're not far now. Gwyn Whitehill may already be there. What is this? Our ironwood trees. It's the White Hills. You see what they've done? This track was hundreds of years old. And they reduced it to nothing. It's all gone. There's nothing but stumps. The White Hills need to answer for this. And Gwyn needs to answer for this. But we need to find out what she knows. She'll be over there. Be cautious, my lord. If she go around her father to help us, she must have some purpose. She's taken a risk in meeting me. Let me hear what she has to say before I judge her reasons. Of course. Just be wary. You see what her family's done here? Here. You might want this. You may have known each other since you were children, but this could be a trap. Doesn't hurt to be careful. Go on. I'll stay with the horses. This is old Red Rob's farm. I used to play here when I was young. What's happened to them? It's not enough to take our wood. It must defile our homes. I see you haven't lost your warrior's ways. That's good. I wouldn't want to deal with someone careless. Hello, Gwyn. Roderick. You saw my father's work over there, didn't you? There's no way to miss it. And he won't stop. He means to do that to every inch of your land. Soon, there will be nothing left to save. I hope you come with help, Gwyn. And I hope you'll listen to me. I come as a friend. <sighs> I wasn't sure you were even going to show. We're taking a risk, meeting like this. Unfortunately, it's the way it has to be. Thank you for paying respects to my father and brother. And for coming tonight. It's good to see you again. And you too, Roderick. I think we can help each other. But first, I... I've heard news of Asher. That he plans to return to Ironrath. Why is he coming back? I loved him once. I longed for Asher to come back. But not like this. How do you know about my brother? That's... part of why I'm here. But I need to know you've come for the same reasons I have. I want peace between our families. No more wars. No more bloodshed. Is that what you want too? I need to hear you say it, Roderick. Will you work with me to bring an end to this war? Yes. Peace means my family will be safe. Of course that's what I want. The years have blessed you with wisdom, Roderick. And it is good you have it. Because peace is the only hope your family has. My father is just waiting for an excuse to attack. Why do you think he sent my brother? So there will be trouble. My father will bring utter ruin on your house. Unless... You let Griff feel like he's in control. I know you refuse to kiss my father's ring, but you would be wise to show more respect to Griff. I won't bend the knee or bite my tongue, not in my own house. Don't be a fool. There is so much more at stake here than just your pride. My lord, a band of riders approach from the north. Seven Hells. 
My father's guards must be tracking me. If they catch us here, they'll kill you. Then we've no time to waste. Let's get on with it. My father is planning to make a move against your family. I don't know all the details, but he's been sending a great deal of gold to someone in King's Landing. I fear for your family, Roderick. You may think you've nothing more to lose. He is ready to show you otherwise. What the hell is your father planning? I swear I don't know, but whatever it is, he knows all your weaknesses, all your plans. What? How? Because you have a traitor in your council. Someone who knows every detail of your circumstances. My father boasts of it, and I've heard some of the reports. You must tell me. Who is it? I don't know. We know you're planning to force Griff from your home. Even if it endangers Ryan's life. What? My father's guards are close. I need to know you'll do what I've asked. Promise me you'll submit to Griff. If you want peace between our families, it's the only way. That all depends on how Griff carries himself. You'll let my brother decide? Then clearly, you have given yourself over to slaughter. There's been enough killing. I hope you do your part. My lord, those riders are nearly upon us. We have to go. What I told you. Be careful what you do with it. And remember, I'll hear about it if you don't. Lord? Come along, Duncan. Mother. Roderick. Look at what's become of our house. You were nowhere to be found and they just... Oh, they are vile men. Where were you? We need you here. To hold this house together. I've uncovered some troubling news. What's wrong? Lord Whitehill is plotting against us. I don't know his plans, but I fear them. And the only way he'll stop is if we submit to Griff's rule of our house. What? Would you really give up control of our house? Griff is already a torment. How much worse could it get? I have to keep the peace with Griff, even if that means letting him have his way at times. The thought of it makes me ill. I don't like it either. Was this all? Did you learn anything more? You need to tell me. What I've told you is nothing compared to what else I've learned. There is a traitor in our house, on our council. No. This can't be. And all our plans to save Ryan, to save this house. All gone. Roderick, who could have turned on us? Times have been hard, but I never thought this would happen. Not in our house. I don't know. There's no way to be sure. If we don't know, then we can't trust anyone. But it's hard to say without knowing where this news came from. It's bad enough having their soldiers in our house. But if you won't be open with me, then our problems run deeper. Get in there! Go get in there! <laughs> <laughs> what do you want from me? No, no, he was over there. And Ramsey was I'll here. Play it. 
our wants. You will bend the knee to your liege lord. Never! I don't kneel to bastards! Yes, yes! That's so much more fun! <laughs> now, give me your wood, boy! Oh, I heard <laughs> tales of your cruelty, Lord Ramsay. What is this? What are you bastards doing? Oh, look here! It's the new lord! You're in luck. We're just getting to the best part. <laughs> Little Lord Ethan's final breath. Unless you want to play the Lord of House Forester instead. You can't do this. You can't do this. Get out of our house right now. <laughs> we'll do as we please. Besides, we're not finished. You must stop. I know you've seen it before. But, um, it gets better every time. Stop this, or you'll suffer the same fate as my brother. <laughs> but we can't stop now. Not before my favourite part. <laughs> oh, please, no! Say hello to your father. Oh, no, Ethan! <laughs> down. <laughs> oh, well done, well done. I'd say, I'd say, I'd say he died better than the real eater. Oh, better than the real eater. What about you, eh? You want to be next? Men without honor are lower than dogs. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be happy. To dirty my blade with your blood. You should have seen it. Your brother, he acted like a true lord. Before this is over, your blood will join my brothers on that floor. So I hope this was all worth it. It'll be worth it when I pull this blade from your neck and see the life drain out your eyes. Make right, his mother you. watch, no but now we'll really have some fun. Enough! Griff will deal with him. When he's done, he'll own this fucking house. And he'll have more than just words for you. Take your boy out of here while you still can. Roderick! Roderick! Now is not the time. Wendell, pack the extra rations. Duff, make sure the quivers are full and the torches are dry. Garrett. What's happening? We're heading north of the wall to deliver justice to brothers turned traitor. They're hiding in the woods at a place called Craster's Keep. I've been looking for volunteers. The cowards murdered Commander Mormon. We're going to kill every one of them. How far north is this, Crasters? Some 60 miles into wildland territory. It's treacherous country. I appreciate if you're thinking of going, but... You should know Brit volunteered. He took his vows in the Sept. He's a brother now. I understand why you hate him. But bad blood could jeopardize this mission. Too many unknowns out there. I can't have my own men killing each other. I'll go in his place. I'm a better fighter than Brit. You'll want my sword before his. I don't doubt your skill. But I need every sword that's willing to go. Even someone like Brit. If you do come, I need to know there won't be any trouble. Even if he provokes you. Can I count on you? I need your word, Garrett. I'll be taking a chance. I'm a man of my word. I won't disappoint you. I'll hold you to that. It's a hard road to Crestus. We leave tomorrow at first light. Now why don't you go talk to those two? They volunteered as well, make sure they're ready. Dorf! Where are my arrows? Well, what did Jon Snow say? 
I don't think he likes us much. Definitely doesn't like you, Finn. Haven't heard him singing your praises, any. He? he wants to see us work together. No more problems. That's on you. Point is, he doesn't want any problems with either of you on this Craster's mission. Well, there's something you should know, then. <laughs> I, uh, borrowed this from you. <laughs> what? I just got curious. I wanted to know why your uncle was here. It never ends with you. What well, didn't mean no harm, honest. I just wanted a quick look. I wasn't stealing. Always planned on giving it back. You can't keep doing that, Cotter. Next time, ask. Well, I did try. And you just said it was private. Maybe because it was, you thief. But I think it was something else. I noticed this part here. North Grove. That's just some shit story for little kids. A rumor. No, it's not. Of course it is. I had it a witch's den where they turned children into giants. Garrett, you don't actually take it seriously, do you? It's a fairy tale. For idiots. Everyone knows that. Didn't think you were that gullible. You're wrong, Finn. It's more than a rumor. Lord Forrester found the truth, it's real. And this says it's somewhere in the north. On the other side of the wall. And here I thought you might have some brains, Garrett. You two deserve each other. Have fun chasing your tails. Good. Didn't need him anyway. What do you mean? Finn doesn't know about the mammoths. Or white walkers. Or how to sneak past a giant. What, and you do? But you know, it's the things you hear about. The rumours is all. I wouldn't know myself. <laughs> how could I? Rumours my ass. You're hiding something, Cotter. I'm not. They're just things I hear around Castle Black's all. People talk, you know. Not about the North Grove they're done. Would you do? Probably heard you talking about it. Or, or maybe one of the recruits. Cotter, I know you're lying. I covered for you. You owe me. All right. Right. I've been on the other side of the wall, Garrett. You see, I, I live there, in the north. I'm part of the free folk. People round here call wildlings. I know, I know it's crazy. I, I was with some other free folk. We were looking for weapons, south of the wall. We got caught, so, so I passed myself off as a local and, well, well, they sentenced me here to Castle Black for stealing. I shouldn't be here. This isn't my place. I didn't know what else to do. Porter, you're the bloody enemy. How am I supposed to trust you now? I'm not your enemy, Garrett. I'm your friend. Or at least I thought I was. Are we... Are we still friends? I mean... I know it's a lot to take in. And I'd understand if you were angry. Don't worry. Bloodthirsty wildling or not, we're still brothers. That is good to hear. <laughs> at least when Mance Raider wants to boil you alive, you'll know someone in high places. Cut her! What did I say? That shit house you fixed is still leaking. I'll be right there. I'm going back home. No matter what, Garrett. I've heard stories. Old tales of a secret forest within a forest. Your lord knew what he was talking about. You know where the North Grove is? No. But I'll help you find it. I'm deserting anyway. Heading back home. I can guide you, keep you alive. Stick with me and I'll show you the way. Plenty of things out there want to kill you. Others want to eat you. I don't understand. Why would you want to help me? The North Grove has nothing to do with you. I've got my own reasons for going. Cut her! Now! Uh, on the way! 
Please, don't tell anyone about me. The watch would kill me if they found out. 